name is Anna Tylki Szymańska. I am a Polish physician. I am a, a professor of pediatrics and pediatric metabolic uh, medicine. This is a new specialization. More than 30 years ago, uh, I started to, to deal with this uh, rare, but challenging, but fascinating specialty as metabolic disease uh, are. So uh, my story is like this, that uh, uh, over 30 years ago, my boss, told me, uh, assigning me, your specialization in this field of metabolic disorders will be LSDs, who lysosomal storage diseases. So uh, it was uh, for me uh, a little bit shocking, although I would like to say that at that time, uh, our knowledge about lysosomal storage disease was not so uh, bad uh, comparing with the level uh, or our knowledge in another uh, metabolic disorders, because I would like to emphasize that uh, uh, lysosomal storage disorders is a leading group for other uh, um, metabolic diseases. Uh, let's say that we built kind of model of metabolic disorders uh, basing on our knowledge and progress in uh, LSDs. Uh, lysosomal storage diseases. So, so this is why uh, I think that it is quite important. But at that time, uh, being a young physician, uh, it was a little bit uh, challenging for me, but anyway. And I remember that uh, at that time, uh, uh, we had, of course, relatively many uh, NPS patients, because NPS patients were not very complicated to diagnose uh, due to the fact there are, uh, that they have a, a special uh, phenotype, which is not very complicated to diagnose or to uh, suspect the, the mucopolysaccharidosis. So, so this is why. And, and this is my adventure. This is the beginning of my, my, my adventure with uh, lysosomal storage disease, metabolic diseases, and NPS as well. It was challenging, uh, first of all, because of the necessity to co confirm your, uh, our uh, uh, suspicion by enzymatic or uh, biochemical uh, uh, methods. So uh, at that time, the, 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 the main methods was the electrophoresis of glycosaminoglycans in urine. So it was quite simple, but time consuming uh, and not very precise. It was precise in the sense that we can distinguish uh, some types of, of uh, NPSs. You know that there are seven or, or 12, depending how you count. But to distinguish those with, uh, where there is a dermatin sulfate storage or a heparin sulfate storage. It was, uh, but also something indication. Each results from electrophoresis, uh, glycosaminoglycans electrophoresis should be confirmed by uh, enzyme uh, activity deficiency in leukocytes or fi fibroblasts. So it was more complicated, but anyway, it was absolutely necessary to, to, to say diagnosis was done proper diagnosis was done. I would like to say another thing that uh, molecular analysis uh, at that time was uh, was possible but not so available for all, for all centers, hospitals, patients and so on. And now uh, in, in my country there is, uh, how to say, the, the uh, algorithm that every six months uh, uh, for all treated patients, every six months uh, we have to, uh, to do some number of uh, investigations. Biochemical, not for genetic disease, but biochemical some, and for uh, uh, echocardiography, uh, MRI if it's necessary, ultrasonography of, of liver and spleen, and so on. And also uh, six minutes uh, walk. Uh, walking test, which is quite important, limitation of, uh, of uh, joints, range of motion, and, uh, and IQ with uh, psycho psychological tests or so. So we can offer uh, this and we do. Our role now as, a, as a old physicians is to encourage young uh, physicians to, to be involved, to be fascinated by, by the specialization, by this uh, group of diseases. I would like to say, if you have uh, 100 young physicians. I think that probably two of this group will be enough curious and ready to, to start this adventure. So I think that it is really, it is rare, diseases are rare, but physicians for rare diseases are also rare. For physicians, the most important thing is that to have a patient. But what is very important, 
if this young physician is the first who diagnosed. This is a kind of proud look. That's I diagnosed my first patient. So it raised the, the motivation and the, this proudness is, is uh, how to say, push the, uh, the story uh, ahead. I think that is fascinating. Metabolic disorder is fascinating, uh, especially in rare disease. Uh, I would like to say that rare diseases are now uh, more appreciated by EU, European Union, and, and so on. There are a lot of grants, there are a lot of uh, facilities, not only for pharma companies, but also for young physicians for, for research. So I think that it's, uh, uh, it's fascinating. Maybe it was more fascinating for my generation, but it was more difficult than now, but Anyway, I am very happy that uh, I am. It was called by chance that I that my specialization is metabolic disorders.